Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do the same thing we did in the previous tutorial but with mod loader. Okay, so wait, why is Minecraft open? I don't need that open. Okay, so let's get started. So we go to the computer, documents, Minecraft, mods, tutorial one, right? Right. Has all their stuff in it. First thing you want to do is clean up. Hit the clean up button, clean up dot bat. Type yes, let it clean up. Done. Done cleaning up, right? Now we need mod loader. So we're gonna go mod loader, Google it. Oh wait, shoot, my mic's gonna go away. Okay, there it is, okay. So mod loader, press enter, first one right here. And you scroll down, update on but six again. Any mod not update slow works and nobody I know nobody read this. <laughs> And nobody did read that last time I checked. If you look at the last page, a whole bunch of people are wondering, hey, why isn't audio mod out for where is audio mod? Why isn't audio mod out for 1.6.6? And stuff. Anyway. So mod loader. Download direct. If you notice all this other stuff, decompile fixes, MCMP mapping, blah 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 blah. Don't worry about it. Okay? You don't need any of that. So we're gonna open this with 7 zip. Right? Close out of that. Open this over here where your Minecraft jars bin. Seven zip. Open archive. Delete myth.inf. Grab all this stuff. Put it in. Okay. 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 Now we are going to decompile again, like we did in the first one. Modified jar predicted. Unpredictable results. Wait for that to work. Waiting and waiting and waiting. <sighs> Error hunks fail. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen now? Nothing actually. This always happens usually when you have a modded jar. Look, we just did right now. We modded it with mon with a how should I say this mod loader. So this doesn't matter, it's okay. Okay? It won't change anything. The mm, compiling client in 5.57 seconds. You know, we should make a thread for this in the Minecraft forums. Just who has like the least number of seconds in decompile. So, open up Eclipse again. Open other tutorial one, right? So for one that eclipse, okay. Let it work. It's it's gonna be a little different for you guys because for me, I was just working on this and I found out that all the audio that I recorded didn't record, so I had to redo it. So. Oh yeah, one more thing you should know, I just used fresh Minecraft jars over here to mod. Right now, I used fresh Minecraft jars, and then I added mod loader on top, okay? So, first thing you want to do is, after you clean up, you want to replace these with fresh Minecraft jars, okay? Okay, just make sure you guys know that. Where did Eclipse go? Okay. Waiting for Eclipse to open up again. And here it is. Okay. So, you go to source. Minecraft source, blah blah blah, like we did before. And we're gonna look for base mod. Base mod, base mod, okay. So, mod loader has this special thing called base mod, right? And this is gonna be our, all of our mods are gonna extend this base mod, just like all our blocks before extended block.java. All our mods are gonna extend base mod, okay? So instead of finding Minecraft and editing the basic stuff in there, for example, I don't know, block.java, how we have to add stuff in here and add all these new blocks, well, you know what? In base mod, you can just add another block, like where is add a block or something. Apparently, you can't add a block. No, you, de you can definitely add a block, something like that. Anyway, you can add block with through base mod. Maybe I should open up mod loader. Mod loader is better. So base mod is gonna be the base for all mods. Just like a block is a base for all blocks, even beds and 
dispensers and whatever else. It's going to be the same thing. But we're going to be using a lot of stuff from here. Adding achievements and adding animations and armor and adding mods, <laughs> I guess. Set up properties, blah, 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 blah. Okay. You, I guess you could read through all of this if you ever have time to, but I'm not going to now. That would be more advanced stuff. So, first thing we need is to make one of these base mods, right? How do you do that? Well, you go to new file and you're going to make it mod underscore. This is the beginning of all mods, okay? You need this. Don't ask me why. It's simply there. I don't know why. I haven't tried it without this, but I'm almost sure there will be an error. I haven't tried it though. We'll see. I think it's that mod loader just looks for anything that has mod in the front. Mod underscore to see if that's a mod that it should load or not. You know, and if something doesn't have that, then it's not going to get loaded. It'll be an error or something, I think. No, wait. We don't just want to call it mod something. My bad. Delete that. Mm -hmm. Delete it. Okay. Let's try that again. File. Mod underscore. As I said, this should always be in front of any mod file you make. But this one is going to be super block. Okay, and this time it's not going to look like an angry mushroom. <laughs> angry mushroom. Yes, an angry mushroom dot java this dot, dot java part is very required i mean you need it and it has to be inside the client inside source inside net inside minecraft inside source right here okay okay finish now first thing you need to do is make sure you have to let this thing know that it's part of minecraft so you do package dot mat dot minecraft okay a semicolon at the end don't need dot net apparently. So what's the problem now? Oh, haha. <laughs> Expected package is Minecraft dot source. Okay, my bad. We need to add that and then dot source. Happy? Happy. Okay. Now we actually start our mod. So we have to do public mod underscore super block extend base mod. Okay? Capitals, capitals, capitals. I hate capitals so much. Anyway, there you go. Right? What's wrong with this public thing? Yeah. Public. What do you mean public interface? I don't know what this guy's talking about. Anyway. Public interface expected after this token. Oh right. Public class. <laughs> Whoops. Mod super block. Isn't that mod super block? So mod super block. Did I spell it wrong? No, no, no. What is oh right. <laughs> Same thing, you always need the version. M must the the type super block must implement the inherited abstract method base mod dot version. Base mod dot version, right? So we need a version. So we need public string version. Capital S. Make sure you spell it right. And make sure string also has a capital S. I won't tell you how many times this has annoyed me. I usually just copy and paste off some other random tutorial or something. You know. Copy and paste version and you need to return the version. So for this one it's going to be tut1 tut1 colon super block plus mod loader 0.1 alpha. I always like putting 0.1 alpha just for fun. It's first initial release, right? I mean, we're not doing anything with it, so it's first just alpha. <laughs> anyway, that's the first thing. Now, how in the world do we make a class? So the first thing you need to know is that every class has a constructor, okay? Even a block. So if you look for bottle model base, public model base, you notice how it's the exact same thing as this. Well, is there the first thing it does? All of it, all it does at all, is it makes the exact, it makes sets this variable to false apparently somewhere down here. Is writing is false now? That's all it does. But it's there, right? The moment this is done, it exists. This class now exists. Okay, so we need one of those. We need something that makes this class exist. So we're gonna do public mod underscore super block right I think 
something like this. Okay, cool. It's it's working so far. <laughs> so, right now we have nothing to put here. So I'm gonna put comment stuff. Just nothing. Just a placeholder text. I know to make sure this stays ours to use. Now, this is where this mod thingy comes very much in handy. If you go to our block, where is block at Java? Block dot Java, where are blocks? All the way down, right? So you know how it says public, static, final, blah 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 blah. Well you know what? We gotta add our block now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do public, static, final block. Oh wait. Capital, capitals, capitals. I hate capitals so much. Block, what are we gonna call it? Super block. Right? Not super box, super block. There you go. You know what's the problem with super block? It may not have been initialized. How do we initialize it? We put it in the static thing and we put all this garbage in here, right? So, let's put our super block. So, is it super block? Oh, wait, static, right? We need to put it in static. Static. Super block is equal to now. What did we have before? Well, I don't remember exactly what we had before, but I do know that we can't have the block ID to be 96. Oh wait, no. Let's just copy trap door and set stuff as we go. Right? Easiest way to do things is copy and paste and then modify. That's what I call it. CPM. You know, just like MCP. <laughs> CPM. Copy, paste, modify. So. Super block is equal to new block super block, you know. So we can make our own, customize our own block, right? And no, 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 we want the material. 96, you cannot be 96, it must be 97. That's our, what's it called, right? Block ID. And then if I remember, we had before here, we had 120 as our, um, Oh, uh, that was our image, right? And the train.png is the scary, the the scary lit um, pumpkin, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely it. So here we add something special. Here we get to override that instead of using the basic terrain.png that we have, we can override that. Okay, we can add this mod loader dot add override parentheses now keep in mind this first set of parentheses okay ends here second set of parentheses ends here third set of parentheses start and end here okay you should have three sets of parentheses at the end right here okay so three parentheses that's what we need don't go deleting one by accident now that would be a big cause of problems so, the syntax for an adding an override is first telling you which file you want to override. Right now we're making a block, and all the block textures are held in slash terrain.png. Watch, I'm going to misspell this somehow. Terrain.png, right? And this one is where we're going to put the picture instead. Instead of going to terrain.png it's going to be somewhere else so that somewhere else has to be I don't know I just like putting my stuff in mods folder I make a mods folder and put all my textures in there every single time don't ask me why I just do I don't know maybe it's a nervous habit anyway put it in our mods and we're going to call it superblock.png right right okay now what's the problem with this Number one, block super block cannot be resolved to type. Well, duh, we didn't make that yet. Sound wood footstep cannot be resolved to variable. What? Mod loader cannot be resolved. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. Mod loader is with a capital L. As I told you, I hate capitals so much. And this doesn't exist. I mean, do do you see anything that's called sound wood footstep in here anywhere? We didn't say anything was sound wood footstep, but it is in block. Here they know exactly what sound wood footstep is. Where can I find it? There you go. I just missed it. There you go. Sound wood footstep, right? 